The Arkansas Children's Infection Prevention and Control Program is dedicated to safeguarding the health of every child. We work with every unit and clinic working to prevent healthcare associated infections, training staff on best practices for preventing those infections, and fostering a culture of safety throughout the health system. So the Infection Prevention Department at Arkansas Children's is really a, a system level department, meaning we cover both hospitals, we also cover multiple outpatient clinics, and our research institute as well. The department's made up of six infection preventionists. We have one at our hospital in Springdale and the other five infection preventionists are here on the Little Rock campus. We have a project coordinator that also helps us with data management and other administrative responsibilities. Infection prevention is one of those departments that really crosses all levels of the organization. We work with clinicians, we work with our environmental services folks, we work with our facilities and maintenance teams, we really touch all aspects of the organization. Infection prevention as part of quality and safety is an integral part of all of our work in safety. It really is foundational to what we do in producing the best outcomes for our patient, preventing hospital-acquired infections, preventing long lengths of stay due to complications related to these infections, and it really is a part of every aspect of providing safe care. At Arkansas Children's, we're using real-time genomic surveillance to identify infectious transmissions as they occur. Our goal is to identify that second case in an infection cluster, enabling us to act and intervene before additional cases occur and harm occurs to other patients. Collaboration really takes on many different forms. You know, we have our formal collaborations within our hospital committee structures, where we work with different committees related to basic infection prevention strategies. And we also work independently with individual departments, working with our neonatal intensive care units. One good example, they have a dedicated infection prevention team that we work with that helps us to identify best infection prevention practices to implement within that unit that's specific to that particular patient population. The way that we currently investigate infection clusters relies on data interpretation over time. So we have to be able to identify changes on the rates of infections over time in order to identify if we have a cluster of infections. Once we identify a cluster of infections, we have to determine if they are related, which would indicate ongoing transmission. One of the tools that we have traditionally used is MLST, or multi-locus sequencing. With this tool, we're only able to see part of the genome. By implementing whole genome sequencing, we're able to see the whole genome of the pathogen and increase the sensitivity to be able to detect if these pathogens are actually related to each other or not. By using whole genome sequencing to determine if two strains are related, we're able to start an investigation with confidence by knowing that an infectious transmission event has actually occurred. The GENIE study, which stands for the Genomic Epidemiology of Nosocomial Infectious Episodes, is a multi-year effort to map and understand how some of the most common hospital-associated pathogens move through the hospital environment. We chose the acronym GENIE because like releasing a genie from a lamp, this study is about revealing what's hidden. Most hospital transmissions are invisible with traditional methods, and Genie helps bring those hidden patterns to light so we can understand and act on them. At Arkansas Children's, we have a strong collaboration with the Arkansas Department of Health. This has allowed us to make data-driven decisions during our viral respiratory seasons, as well as during outbreaks of vaccine-preventable illnesses like pertussis and measles. Together with Arkansas Children's, in my role as the Medical Director of Immunizations at the Arkansas Department of Health, I help to make sure that all children across the state have access to vaccines through the Vaccines for Children program. And I also work together with the providers across the state, including all of the pediatricians and providers at Arkansas Children's, to ensure that any kiddo who has been exposed to an infectious disease that requires an immunization for post-exposure prophylaxis or for prevention of infection after they've been exposed has access to those vaccines as well. I'm really very proud of our team and how we work collaboratively across the entire system and really engage with all of the frontline staff to take ownership of this work in their individual roles and not view it solely as the role of infection prevention. And I think that's a testament to the quality of our team. Ultimately, as we refine how to apply these tools here at Arkansas Children's, 
It's my hope that our work can serve as a model for other hospitals and that together we can accelerate medicine towards use of microbial genomics in everyday practice, enabling the real-time tracking of infections on a national and even global scale. Thanks for watching, but now an important disclaimer. The content of this video is not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. Viewers should not disregard or delay in obtaining medical advice for any medical condition they may have and should seek the assistance of their healthcare professionals for any such conditions.